team Destination Imagination Tournament and the senior level presentation site of the Fine Arts Challenge. Get a clue. Today, you are going to witness a mystery story unfold live on stage. The ending will be a surprise to everyone, even the team. Who did it? What caused the mystery? The answer is in one of these envelopes. Who will the clues point to? What ingenious methods will the team use to uncover the answer? Let's find out. Sit back and let this team unravel their mystery. Each team here today has worked hard for the past several months to prepare for this tournament. So please avoid any activity that might be disruptive. Please turn off any personal electronic devices, such as a cell phone, smartphone, or tablet, that may interfere with the team's presentation. Now, I am pleased to present, <coughs> it's a wig from Beaver Local. The team managers are Scott Malcolm and Ginger Malcolm, and the team has given permission for filming and has also given permission for flash photography. The team has provided three potential suspect characters who could be the mystery maker. And now the team will point to one envelope. Is there anybody in particular that's supposed to do this job? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> The selected envelope will be placed in this tape square and will not be removed or opened until the team wishes to find out the identity of the mystery maker. Team, are you ready? Yes. yes. Appraisers, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Audience, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> And welcome to my fine establishment, the Upstairs Base. It's a hot summer night in 1928. Join me on this journey through a wild and crazy time. Hey, music man, turn on the Charleston on the new jukebox. We want to dance. We can just play it ourselves. <laughs> That's all right. Let the new fancy gadget do all the work. All right. Great party, Tony. Yeah, great party. Oh, Josephine, the music stopped. Oh, that's why I was out of the rhythm. Hey, why'd you stop playing? I don't know, it just stopped. I can't play anything on my trombone. And come to think of it, I can't hear those bums outside playing their bum music. It's almost as like someone just magically took all the music out of the thin air. <gasps> oh, toots, don't worry, toots. We'll figure it out. What if the music never comes back? What would the 1920s be without jazz? It's okay, Josephine. We'll figure out who, who stole, stole the music? music. We better go look for clues in the back. That's where all the sketchy stuff are happening. Not the back. Hey, 
Josephine, are you okay? Yeah, I just slipped. What did you slip on? Slide oil! <gasps> Excuse me. I've been practicing my trombonian skills all day. Yeah, we were just doing fellow stuff, you know? Yeah, fellow stuff. And you know, without us, this club, it'd be worthless. The whole reason we have to stop everything and go on this circuit to find the music. But any of you ever notice? No. You just sing and dance and talk so loud that you can't even hear. Shut your yap, Richard! I don't pay you to talk! Well, at least I don't need feathers everywhere like some people. Speaking of which, what are these feathers doing right here? What, you think those are my feathers? There's no way she could have stolen the music. She was upstairs practicing with me all day. Exactly. Besides, I got this boa from the store. There are a hundred different people wearing this thing in this city alone. And if the music didn't come back, I wouldn't have a career. I'd have to go back to law school. I mean, I could sell it back and make hundreds, but that's besides the point. Okay, okay, we get it. You didn't steal the music. But if it wasn't you, and it definitely wasn't me, then who else could it be? Hey, what are you looking at me for? You don't even have any evidence against me. Or do we? Hey, that's not mine, that's my cousin's. Then why does it say Tony inside? That's not Tony. Look, it's Tony. He's my cousin. Tony? Yes, our family isn't exactly creative with names. You're Tony if you're a boy, and Tonita if you're a girl. And it's hella more depending on how many came before you. But I'll tell you what, if I was to steal the music, it'd be because you dang music men always take it on my cabbage. And you just remember, Richard, if that is even your real name, that I know people, and I will not stand for you horsing around the towns. Okay, okay, we get it. Good. Okay, uh, let's get back to searching. Hey, Tony, it's that fancy recording thing you showed me earlier to stop people from stealing. Mm -hmm. You know, the one in the juice box? Yeah. It's a jukebox, honey. Can you imagine juice in a box? Whatever it's called. We could use it to catch the person who did it, right? I mean, it probably recorded them. Well, maybe. But we'll need a nickel to play it back. And besides, Twits, it's not called a recording thing. It's a phonograph. I already told you. It could be called applesauce for all I care. I just want to catch the thief. Okay, well, it sounds like we need a nickel. Let's get searching. What's this envelope doing over here? Oh, never mind, it's just my overdue taxes. Back to searching. <laughs> Found one. Only Josephine would look behind a painting for a nickel. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to the secret security recording hooked up in the juice box. Babe, you gotta finesse it. And now I'm connected to this elastic wire, and voila! I just turned the new radio gadget into a machine to take away all the music at exactly 7.05 p.m. Now I can finally fire these awful musicians. Tony Gudalini's club will be the best in town. Hey. Ah, oh, horse feathers, I thought I'd turn that thing off. Looks like you thought wrong, buddy. But at least you won't have to wait for the police to get here to pinch you, because I am actually a cop. Hey! I've just been trying to catch someone drinking alcohol during the prohibition. And I'm a woman! Hey! I'm a man. I play with man. Got you all. Um, okay. Anyway, you're under arrest. Now give us the music back. All right. I'll just slap around in here a little bit. Done. Okay, let's test it out this time. A wunny, and a dewy, and a skiddly dewy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
speaker and then it vibrates that needle with the speaker and it engraves on the medium. We oh, couldn't get it precise enough to actually play. <laughs> <laughs> but we spent doing research and stuff on how to figure it out. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. 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 I go to school here. Yeah. It's very 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 Actually, we're the only two that are in course. We're both in ninth grade, and all three of them are in eighth grade, so we're the only two that are in the same Mario's been in them before. Both Mar yeah, Mario's in them. Okay. 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 I got really, like, not great with the titles because I ran out of titles at the end. Well, after you knew about the 10 books, you kind of just had them. Eh. You guys are very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, can we go now? Yeah. <laughs> I want to 